What's up guys, Jimmo here, and today we're gonna to be doing some work on this Ford Fusion. We'll be fixing up a little scratch at the front edge of the fender, and then we'll be doing the paint job using Spraymax aerosol products. So we'll be doing a three-stage aerosol spot repair. Let's go. So we're gonna keep sanding this area until that scratch starts to feather out. So it will eventually start to level out and open up and then you won't be able to feel it anymore. So generally, whenever a scratch needs repair and won't polish out, you can catch it with your finger, fingernail when you run your hand over it. That's one indicator. Uh, so it's starting to come here. So basically, we, we don't wanna fill this in with any putty kind of a shortcut that isn't the correct way of doing it. As you can see now that we've gotten through one layer, there's gonna be multiple coatings on this, being a tri coat, you're gonna have clear coat, base coat, some primers, some metal primers. So it should be multicolored by the time we're finished here. You can go at it a few different ways with the block too, just to keep it leveling in each direction. It'll help make this taper out properly. Okay, you can see we're almost there. We've got, we've got one more layer of paint starting to feather out here, but we can still see some of the scratch right there. So we're gonna keep sanding until it's completely gone. And we're gonna be careful not to sand that bumper or that headlight. You can put some tape on it if you're concerned about hitting it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mask this guy up. I'm using a 3M plastic sheeting. Protect everything. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. You could just use some paper, but uh, you want to think somewhat ahead because the clear coat, what can happen when you're spraying it down uh, near the end of this job, is it will stick to anything that's near it. So you'll run your hand over all these panels after and um, it won't be nice. You'll have to polish basically the entire car to get rid of it. So you want to at least protect two panels in any direction from overspray with uh, a job like this. So. I'm gonna grab a razor blade and start trimming that up. What we're gonna do here, so we've got 400 going around here, 400 grit sand scratches from what we feathered out. We're gonna try and keep, well we need to keep our primer within this little circle of the 400. Anything, if we do end up with primer outside here, we're gonna have to remove it after. Okay, we've got our primer now on that spot. It's dried, ready to sand, and we're ready to prep the rest of this panel. So um, let's just talk first about the primer choice here. Uh, this is the 2K um, epoxy from Spray Max. So what you want to keep in mind, since that had uh, some bare metal, you need to make sure you're using either an epoxy or a direct metal primer. Other, otherwise, it's gonna need some additional treatment before you can put primer on it. Uh, same with plastics. Plastics are treated a little bit differently. You can look at some other videos on how to get that ready. We've polished this whole panel up and that's gonna allow for any blending solvent to melt that clear back in. So if we get our clear a little bit further than we want it to, this, this panel has still been sanded. So the polishing, the coarse compound on the polisher actually, it's a very fine sand scratch that's on it now. So that's, uh, that's how that's prepped. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sand this with some 600 grit paper anywhere we're gonna have our base coat. And then our blend area, so where we anticipate the, the base coat fading out, we're gonna have about a 1500 grit scratch. You can go about 1000 or finer. Just gonna level that out. Oh. 
So we're going to have clear coat over this entire spot. We want to be careful on these edges that we don't burn through them or else you, then you'll have to put color there. So our goal is to sand anywhere we think that we're going to have clear coat. And we're going to try and try and fade it out right in that that at the edge of our 1500 scratch. And we'll just take a scotch spray pad here and we'll go over all our edges real quick. What you could also do to improve the quality on this is take out that headlight, take off this bumper, and that'll uh, give you better access to sanding and prevent any bridging that might occur. But we've, we've loosened it off, pressed it in so it's not tied up against the panel. So we've done a minor thing, but if you want to, the more trim you can take off, the better the job is always going to be. Now, as I've discussed in a lot of other videos, it is always best to bring your clear to the, the edge of the panel. It's better to clear this entire fender rather than blending your clear. So we've got uh, our first coat on here. You want to go with a few lighter coats rather than just hammering it all on. You don't want it to run all over the place, especially if you're working with solvent. So this is actually a water-based product and it's going to be a little bit less aggressive on certain types of primers. Some of the solvent aerosol base coats, they can, uh, they can lift certain things if you hammer them on. So go a little bit on the lighter side and uh, I'm just going to let this flash off here. So we've got about to here to work with. Once that's fully covered, we're going to move on to the pearl coat. So the way that tri-coats work, I talk a lot in other videos that you can check out on specifically on tri-coats. But basically, we're going to have a solid white down here. And then after that dries, we'll put a pearl on top. And that's going to give it that sparkle effect. Okay, so we're on to our second coat. So this is going to be the mid coat, the pearl. It's basically a transparent binder with some pearl in it. It's not going to change the color completely, but it, well, it is going to change it. It's just not going to be as drastic as a solid color. So it's handy to have one of these guys here, tack rag, and you can just take off anything that might fall onto the surface. In between coats, this is pre-mixed product. So you can go to any paint job well, not any, but a lot of them, anyone that sells Spray Max and have them put whatever paint line you want in there. And for when it comes to matching, they may have some color tools at the, the desk there, but you'll have to check with your jobber and see what color tools are available to help you match because uh, there is a wide, you can't just assume the paint coat is going to match and there's a lot of videos on that. I could, I could go on a rant for a few hours on why colors don't match, but they don't. So. Um, if they have a scanner, that can help you out, but what you have to do with tri-coats if you want to get uh, this match dialed in completely is do what's called a letdown panel. So I've got other videos on that as well. I will make sure they're all marked in the description so you can find them. But okay, let's get the mid-coat on. Okay, so our first coat is going to go over top of our base and we're going to try and keep bringing it a little bit further and beyond. We've had got till about here. We want to try and keep it in within our uh, 1500 grit scratches. So the 1500 grit scratches go right to about here. So yeah, we want to try and keep it as small as possible.
All right, we've got our mid coat on here now. So what we're gonna do is let that flash off for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna hit it with the clear coat. So what we wanna do is get one good wet coat over top of the base and then we wanna keep it again within our 1500 sand scratches. Our second coat, we're gonna try and taper it off and we're gonna try and have a little bit of dry spray so it sort of gradually, gradually fades in, sort of like what we're doing with our blend, but we wanna try and keep it a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna melt that edge away with the blending solvent. So that's where the clear is gonna transition. So the, the clear has to cover all of our base coat first or else it's not gonna work. What you have to do with all these 2K products, um, primers, uh, primers, clears, I think they have some single stage stuff out too, is you take the cap from the top, place it on the bottom like so, and then you just press it in. Ugh. Give her a good whack. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we've got our first coat down and the clear tapers off to right there. And uh, we're gonna take it back out a little bit further on the next coat. And then we're gonna add in our blending clear. Usually what you wanna do is you wanna just touch an area that isn't, or that's masked, sorry. And once it becomes sticky, once your finger kinda, fibers start to come up off of the off of the surface, it's ready for the next coat.